Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Pisces, for your meditative session, you guys got chimpanzee. Use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question. So right now they're telling you to trust a gut feeling, right? But it's not only necessarily your gut feeling, but also logic, right? What is logic? What is logically happening, right, at the moment? Like be real about a situation and then use your intuition. So the biggest thing that I could say for you guys is like there's some sort of problem solving that you're meant to be doing at this time. And I kind of feel like it's about a person because they were saying when it's time to get to know what your body's saying about this person. And they were they kept saying like this person, a certain person. So now I kind of feel like there's someone else involved. And I feel like they're trying to let you know that you're going to get the cues from your body physically. And that's how you have to that's how you're going to know what to do about the situation, whatever the situation is. So they say to breathe slowly and ask yourself, like when you're thinking about this person or when you're around this person, I feel like they were talking about when this person's physically present, but again, maybe you're just thinking about someone, but the advice was that you have to breathe slowly in and out and see what it is that your body is telling you, right? Like your body is going to get some sort of feeling right about this person and physically what do you feel when you think about this person and whether they're around or they're not it's the way you feel about them and that's that's your intuitive feeling on them and then you're supposed to use intellect as well to solve this problem so this what I'm getting Pisces problem solving but not only but like using your intuition in a different way like seeing how your body feels around this person so yeah let's see what this is about So Pisces, I'm not sure if this is you or someone else, but someone here has a decision to make. And I think that they're, someone here, it could be you Pisces or the person you're connected to, to so choose your energy. But with chimpanzee, I'm getting again the decision, right? They're telling you to get answers to a question, use your intuition and your intellect. And then here we have, I feel intuition and intellect, right? We have the sword energy with wisdom. Right, so somebody has the masculine side down, right? The wisdom and the sword. But the feminine side, right? Even though this is wand energy, I feel like this is the feminine, right? Which is someone who can give. You see how this person is giving the rose away and they're very balanced and they're open? This is in reverse. So I feel when it comes to chimpanzee, right? In the beginning, making a decision, right? Problem solving. Someone here is so good at using the intellect and they're not good at using the feminine, which is the feeling, the intuition part, right? And the high priestess over here is in reverse. So that's what I'm trying to say. It's someone who has to open up to the feminine and it, can, it could probably be a masculine, right? 
uh, but it could also be you. I, I feel like it's either Pisces, you're the masculine or the feminine. I, I don't, I'm just going to say feminine and masculine energies. I feel like it's the masculine who's having trouble with this feminine energy. Could be reversed, it, you know, take the energy as it is. But again, we're beginning and ending this reading with the two of pentacles. Someone does not know what to do. And that's the whole point of the chimpanzee. He's trying to tell you that the way to solve the problem is to use your intuition. But this person does not know how to use their intuition see like the way to solve the problem right with the higher friend and the two of cups is cup energy it's feminine energy it's feeling and this person does not know how to do that they're not they don't know how to feel right now they're not they're not good at that side do you know what i'm saying whoever this is so if you're like why can't someone make this decision it's feminine it's feminine it's like hierophant high priestess energy it's intuition it's deeper knowing right it's again how does your body feel right and I think this person has such a hard time with this and it, it, <laughs> I see that they have this uh, intellect so down pat, right? Because we have a 10 with the wisdom. So they're very, very knowledgeable. They're very, very smart. But when it comes to this side of them, the feminine aspect, they're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not that they're not, they're not smart. Uh, well, like when it comes to that, it's just that they don't know how to apply it. You know what I mean? And I think that's why they got chimpanzee because chimpanzee was all about explaining how to use it, right? They were explaining in the card to sit silently, to take a deep breath in and out, and to understand how they feel. How do they physically feel, right? When they think of a person, how do you physically feel when you talk about a person, right? Uh, do you get butterflies? And I feel like I have to explain it. <laughs> uh, do you get butterflies in your stomach, or do you get really excited, or you know, do you feel like wand-like energy, like passion, excitement, joy when you talk about a person, or do you feel cup emotion when you talk about this person, which is you know, love, uh, wanting to nurture, running to kind of reciprocate? Do you feel judgmental towards this person? Do you feel like you know? Uh, scared of this person you know what do you feel about this person you have to really like take the time to think about it because that's the only way you're going to get the answer to this question whoever's whoever this is and what's interesting here is that we have the feminine and the masculine we have the masculine and the feminine we have the king of coins and the queen of coins right but i think what's causing this block because it is a block right it doesn't have to be a block, but it's definitely, it's definitely something in the way. It's like the divine is not going to let this person go through this cycle. Like they can't get to this 10, right? We have so many 10s too. We have the 10 of wands for both the masculine and the feminine. So both the masculine and the feminine are coming up at, a, at to, to the end of a cycle, right? Then we have the 10 of swords in reverse, which is a good thing. Another 10, right? So now I feel like there has been completion. There has been endings. Uh, for both of these people right because we're getting the ten of wands on both sides So I feel like both sides are exhausted both sides are kind of tired, right? But I also see ego here, right? I see ego and the ego card came up twice So I feel like someone has to maybe uh, Understand that the reason that they they can't okay. This is it like you cannot just this person cannot decipher between fear and their like physical feelings right because i think that their fear takes over and that's why they can't make this decision because they still f are feeling this or maybe this is a past energy and they're moving forward i really hope they are but the reason this was a hard thing to do was because this fear was like cr this fear was everywhere right look at the shit like this fear and this ego was keeping them from themselves so they couldn't make a decision on this person. That's what I'm getting. They cannot. They could not at any time make this decision because they were always sitting here. But the good thing is that they're. This is in reverse now. So I feel like the future energy is again this person opening back up, right? So I think that the answer to this or what what's really going on here is that someone is learning that what that maybe in the past they weren't able to make this decision because this decision involved emotions and they were blocking themselves from emotions because of fear because again they were hurt they were betrayed so it was very hard for them to make this decision but now i see that this is coming up in reverse and i think this person's finally working through this and i'm really proud of this person for doing that because that opens this person back up and if you can open yourself back up you can make this decision right on this cup energy on the soulmate that you've been wondering about that you've been trying to like figure out what the f to do with that's the answer to it you have to feel and you can't make a decision based on feeling if you're closed off from your feelings you know what i mean and it seems kind of like you know 
<laughs> it seems kind of like logical again it seems logical but it's just been a block for this person for a really long time i'm telling you it's been a really long time uh this person has really like blocked themselves in the sense where fear has been keeping them from feeling so if you can't feel you can't make an uh, emotional decision on a person right so then what do you do you don't make any decision and you just go on and on and on but with the destiny card in reverse it kind of seems like you can't there's nowhere left to go <laughs> you know what i mean like there's nowhere left to go there's nowhere left to hide there's nowhere left you know what i mean you can like outrun this shit for as long as you can and then you have to you have to stop right and that's what this feels like it's like the end of a cycle with all these tens you know we have three tens out and now we're sitting at someone is coming you know i think they're coming this masculine energy it could be the masculine or the feminine but someone again is realizing that in order to make this decision they have to feel again that opens this person up to seeing things clearly and to seeing where they self-sabotaged you know what i mean they self-sabotaged this but now there is balance to a situation where someone again was not seeing things so there is clarity coming to someone who did not see there's balance coming to someone who did not see right they're trying to get this person to feel to see to do things again this person is sitting into a pentacle energy they can't this is the energy they've been sitting in for a really long time and again it's about a soulmate what i see with the hierophant coming up that they know that the only way to make this decision is to feel again and that brings this person back to like self right the self card came out last but the ego seems to be a problem for this person but they are coming up as the emperor so i feel like the emperor would have a strong ego right because the ego is you know as, as big as light is, as, li as big as someone's light is, their shadow is also kind of the same size, right? And that's why it's scary when people who are very, you know, emperor, empress-like go into shadow energy. It's, it's scary because they're very powerful, right? So it's kind of like with greater power comes greater responsibility. Well, if you're in shadow and you're in this energy, you can do a lot of damage, right? And I think this person did do a lot of damage. I think this person did do a lot of self-sabotage. I think it had a lot to do. It's just self-sabotage here because of pain and fear. Again, so it's like you can't make the decision without the intuition and the feminine side. And this person is realizing that. It's like I can't make a decision in love if I'm not connected to my feelings. You know what I mean? And that's where this knife comes out, right? To cut through all that shit that they've been holding it's like they put i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting all this um growth around that needs to be cut right it's like to get it's like someone's heart is all the way down like deep deep down and to get there you have to cut through like all these bushes and all this shit you're like you know you're on your way you're on this journey yeah to back to my heart you know back to myself so that i can make a decision yeah this person is so this is where they're at though they're they're indecisive i do feel like they're gonna get the clue soon that they need to rebalance and what does that mean rebalance to go back to cup it feels like someone who like a love song comes on and they have to turn it off it feels like someone who's like a, they don't want to watch romantic comedy because they don't want to think about love that's what this person feels like it's like everything that has to do with love they just want to ignore because they're not they again it hurts them so much to feel anything it's like they have to do this really great purge you know to kind of clear that energy off because i feel like there's just so much pain associated with love and this person is just having such a hard time trying to like you know <laughs> this person's having a really hard time trying to get back to that part of themselves you know it's a journey for this person and yeah the journey card came out it's a journey back to themselves and i think that's where this person's at right now where they're journeying back to themselves but it's through i mean the egos the ego cards are coming up at the end so yeah they know what they have to do but they have to do it still you know what i mean they have to balance this out within themselves or they're not going to be able to see a person the right way and you can't how are you gonna how are you gonna judge somebody based on like feelings when your feelings are closed off you feel me like you can't do that it's not it's, it's impossible right it's like you cannot do that it, it just doesn't make any sense 
It's like, yeah, if I'm doing a math problem, I'm not gonna put love into a math problem. Math, like, love has nothing to do with an equation or some sort of fact or some sort of law, right? But when it comes to feeling, uh, I have to approach that differently, right? And this person is, I feel like they're beginning to understand that like the approach has to be differently. The, the approach has to be done differently. So if they've been coming up with the same conclusion over and over and over again, which is just to block something out, then it's like, okay, you're gonna come to the same conclusion, but that, that hole is still there, right? The work still needs to be done. You're just avoiding it, avoiding it, avoiding it. And now this person's like, it's unavoidable, right? It's unavoidable. They have to solve this problem within to get the problem on the 3D. Well, let's pull some advice. So Pisces, that's what this person is doing if this is you or them. This person who is confused, who cannot make a decision, who has a decision to make, right, about a person, right? We have the king and the queen of pentacles and where the decision is in two pentacles. This person, they have to be authentic to themselves, right? With Perpetua, the saint of authenticity, I am authentic, I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like they have to embrace who it is that they are, right, before they make a decision they cannot make the decision sitting in this energy they have to sit in this energy and that's like a part of themselves that they've been denying so once they're able to embrace that side of themselves which i feel like they are they I, again this person is very smart so they understand that they have to be in a different type of energy to solve this problem again it's like you can't solve a math problem with love <laughs> you know what i mean that's it doesn't work that way same with love you cannot solve a love a love problem with uh, you know a fact or an equation or some shit you know what i'm saying so this person i'm authentic i'm my authentic self they have to get back to themselves and i think that's where they're going they're returning back to themselves with destiny in reverse it's like they have to return back to themselves so much ego here but they're returning to themselves slowly this person if this is you you have to they're telling you that you need like what could assist you in this journey back to self right it's like a journey back to self journey and self yeah is writing they can they said writing is very very helpful it could benefit you in a lot of ways to get what you're really feeling out to write so if you just took the time to write every maybe once a week just start off just writing right i feel like you get get a lot out and then reread what you wrote and you'll see where it is that your heart really lies and what you're actually feeling emotionally right which i think is new to you because again you've blocked it for such a long time you chose to block it because again you were just there's a lot of ego here but i feel like this person is coming back to self and this person seems to be again with even chimpanzee i feel like chimpanzees are very smart right <laughs> like they're very intellectual so again it's like this person i think they took pride in how smart they were and like what they could do with all this you know with their brains but when it comes to love and it comes to emotions they they're they have to it's like develop that part right so i feel like writing could be really helpful for this person but yeah that's where this person is at or if this is you, Pisces, that's where you're at. And again, I think it. I think someone might have went away. Could have been the feminine, uh, because they saw that part of you, and like they saw the ego, right? They saw that you were just giving them ego, which is nothing, right? You're just giving them, you know, you're not giving them emotions. You're giving them, <laughs> you're giving them uh, answers that don't relate to the question, to the problem, right? So when it comes to problem solving, it's like a different way to solve this problem. You have to come at it at a different angle and you're understanding that. And I think that's where this authenticity comes in, right? Being true to who it is that you are and recognizing who it is that you are. And it's a big deal, Pisces. So congratulations if this is you or if the person you're connected to, it's still a really big deal. But yeah, to get out of this two of pentacles, you need to connect back to the feminine. And I think you can do that. And I think you are doing that. So congrats. I love you, Pisces. I hope this reading resonates. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.